Hello, I'm Jane Neary for Theatre Redlands, and as you'll know by now, we'll be bringing a great new show to the museum uh, just as soon as the boom has been lifted. Uh, women of Their Word, it's a look at some great Australian women poets. And a guest in the studio today is Ray Noonan, who is one of the, in fact, he is the only male who will be on stage uh, with all of those women around him. Ray, how, how will you deal with that, mate? Not a uh, Thanks. Thanks and good morning to you, Jan. Um, look, I don't mind at all. Um, I love being the only male around. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't mind at all. Um, it's nothing strange to me. Um, I love being on stage, but to be on stage with such a lot of lovely, creative women, it, it's really a pleasure. Uh, you get a big brownie point for that one, mate. <laughs> but you've been around the Redland Museum as an actor and a director for quite a while now. What was your first show there? Oh, you should mention that, Jan. Um, just on my desk in front of me, I do have uh, a memento of the first show I ever did with um, down there with um, the museum. And I'll show it to you and you should remember this. Do you remember, uh, do you remember that show, Jan? I do, I do indeed. I was a madam. Oh my God, look at the mink skull and all. We were all a bit younger Sweet there, Fanny Adams. And there you are in your flowing judicial robes and uh, yes, rather more hair than I'm used to seeing on you, Ray. That just, just proves that, Jane, that I did have hair once. <laughs> Not that one, I <laughs> was in that. Uh, and certainly that was in 2012. So um, I've, I've done a few shows at the museum since then. It's always a pleasure to go back down there and to entertain the troops. Yeah, it's a wonderful working environment, isn't it? Yes. It certainly in, is. In this play, Women of Their Word, um, you've got two roles there. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Um, the first one is... Um, uh, at, about Leona Kiling, and that is when um, I come in as a uh, as a politician. Ah, yes, Leona, quite a, quite a local personality, and of course yes. one of the people Mick at the museum has written a wonderful biography about her. But uh, yeah, she went down to Canberra, didn't she, to harass politicians? She did. Good on she it. She did, and, and she harassed um, the politicians down there. Um, to for her aged care facility to be given charity status. So I play the politician. She comes to see me trying to uh, to plead her case. Right, wonderful, wonderful, a, a battler that one. What's the second role that you're playing, Ray? Sorry, nearly knocked the whole caboodle over. <laughs> um, the second one, Jan, is. Um, uh, is, is when I actually come on to introduce Judith Wright. I only have one line on this one, um, and I introduce Judith Wright to um, to the audience. Oh, so it's a lot of changing costumes for, for two very, very short plays, pieces. Well, put it this way, Jan. Um, I've got plenty of time to, um, to get changed. So, um, look, Somebody said something to me about nine or ten years ago that in theatre there is no such thing as a small part. Um, everyone at some stage is watching you. Even if you're on there with no lines, somebody will be watching what you're doing. And that's one of the, the joys of theatre. Mm, so, it was uh, a pretty smart person, whoever it was. <laughs> certainly was. <laughs> Ray, it's been great speaking with you. Thanks so much. Looking forward to seeing you in the flesh on the stage when the curtain rises again at the Redlands Museum. My pleasure, Jan. Thank you very much and you have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Now, 
Another one of, of the men that's a familiar face around theatre in Redland Museum is our much loved Ian Mundy. Ian, great to have you on the show. Great to be with you again, Jane. <laughs> and I do like the beard, I've got to say. I think it's pretty, <laughs> pretty schmicky. Had to do something during the lockdown. <laughs> so you grew a beard. Did that take much energy? <laughs> <laughs> Ian, you've um, been in so many theatre productions now. You've become the museum stage manager for shows. Uh, the man to, to fix things, to go to for things. Ian, who do I talk to? Ian, where can I find her? Ian, can we manage to do a, all of those things? How many years have you been working in theatre at the museum now? Uh, this, this would be five years now. This is the fifth year. Crikey, crikey. Had you worked in theatre before working at the museum? No, I have never, uh, never been involved backstage in theatre before. The only involvement I've been with theatre is sitting in the audience watching it but now I'm actually loving it this time. That's that absolutely great. What was the first show you ever did there? Um, well that was way back in uh, 2015. The very first show was uh, was Reedy River. I think ah, that was probably, yes. the most, the, probably the most challenging one I, I did because um, been the very first one I was thrown in sort of um, Feet first, if you like, and uh, it was a big challenge. Um, the next one was a big challenge, was actually uh, a large one, Summer of the 17th Doll. Oh, uh, yes. And I've also been involved in um, designing and building sets as well. And mm -hmm. the biggest one I did for that one was uh, in Drinking Habits. Ah, yes, 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 that was a tour de force. And if memory serves me well, you've actually been persuaded to act in radio plays. Absolutely love radio plays. <laughs> and m might I say that you play a seven-year-old boy to perfection. I've played, played all parts, even, too, haven't you? even female parts. <laughs> What, how are you finding, I mean, it's early days of rehearsals thus far, but how are you finding this one, uh, Women of Their Word? Is it, has it got its own challenges or? Well, I wouldn't say it was a real challenge. It's, um, no, not really. It's, it's just another challenge. They're, they're all um, got challenges in their own way and this is just another one. And you cope with them all beautifully. Ian I'll Murray. try to. <laughs> it's absolutely lovely to have spoken to you. Thanks so much, mate. Thank you very much, Jan. There, Ian Mundy, and uh, I'm Jan Neary, and we'll be hopefully bringing to you very, very soon on the museum stage, uh, Women of Their Word, uh, another production from Theatre Redlands. Cheers. <laughs>